Hey, thanks for coming. Um, Kit, would you please turn it down? Kit, would you please turn it down? Sorry. Thank you. <sighs> Listen, Jules, I like you and all, but why are you so mysterious? Just be clear with me. I don't want you to feel ashamed of me. Whatever it is, I won't. I'm Mida's blood daughter. Uh, oh. I know. Okay, let me start from the beginning. My dad at a young age got a little frisky with a young woman a long time ago before the agency, back when he was a member of House of Cards. Then, I was born and he didn't know. I grew up tinkering on electronics with my mom. She was an engineer so I learned a lot from her. When the agency started to become a thing, they were looking for agents. I thought my skills could come in handy on making spy gadgets and stuff. However, what I didn't know was that I was going to end up helping my, um, dad build a doomsday device. Hi, I'm here for the job application. I don't go by the name of clubs anymore. It's Midas. Your father was a busy man. Always with his crew. Yep, he was known as clubs in his gang. No one knows what happened to those wanted men. All I know is that they were seen adventuring out into nowhere. I wish I knew Daddy. Oh, hello. I assume you are here to become an agent? Uh, yes. I, uh... Based on how you're dressed, you must be an engineer. Am I right? Yes, that is right, de er, sir. Good. I knew an engineer before. Wonder what happened to her. Anyways, we could really use you here. Welcome. Thanks. And so I did my job here until one day I felt I had to say something. No, no, no! I can't build it! I'm sorry, Master. Sir, you wanted to see me? Oh, yes. The engineer. I want you to look at these plans. Do you think you can do it? Uh, yes, I think I can. <laughs> yes! Great! This is your new job now, but you must not tell anyone, you hear me? Yes, but could you hear me out for a minute? What is it? Do you know someone named Sparkplug? Well, she was my mother. She's gone now. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes. Hi, Dad. Well... Hello, daughter. Sir, this little girl is rummaging through our trash. Sorry, boss man. I was only looking for food. Midas, she's homeless and needs a home. I thought we could find her a room for her here. Fine, that will do. She can't be here unless she's given a parent. I... I, ha I have no time for parenting. Meowsles, you two hang together, watch her. I'll sign the papers making her my own, but you're in charge. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Don't worry, kitty. I'll take care of you. Oh, and bye, Dad. Oh, boy. No time for parenting? I can't parent her because I'll be spending a lot of time with you. Now let's get to work.
The more and more we worked, I began to see his true side. The evil inside him. But he always seemed to love me. I desperately wished to tell everyone in the agency my relation to him, but I had to keep it a secret. I know that even more, now that he's seen as a villain. I'm sorry to keep a secret, but if people knew, I would be hunted. Wow, that is one story. I understand, though. I knew joining the heroes would put me and Sky in danger, but I, I did it for the right cause. Thanks for telling me. Thank you for listening. Just the justice you deserve. No, Night Night. Stop. Night Night, no. <laughs> No!